And in a setback for migrants seeking refuge in the United States, the U.S. Supreme Court has voted to keep Title 42 in place for now. The Trump era policy blocked thousands of people from crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Now, Title 42 gives the U.S. government power to automatically expel undocumented documented migrants seeking entry. The potential lifting of the policy had prompted concerns that the number of migrants at the border would rise. The Biden administration said that it would comply with the ruling, but it has nonetheless called for reform and immigration policy. Reform of the immigration policy here, pardon me. Republicans on their part, they've welcomed this move. They argue that removing Title 42 would have made the border crisis worse. Now, the Title 42 policy was originally due to expire on the 21st of December. However, two days before the deadline, the U.S. Supreme Court blocked its termination. The court's decision was in response to an emergency appeal for some Republicans-led states who asked for the policy to remain in place. The title has been evoked about 2.5 million times since March 2020. On Tuesday, the Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four to extend the temporary stay order by Justice Roberts while the case moved forward. Additionally, the nine Supreme Court justices will now hear the arguments on whether the states can intervene in defense of the policy. Arguments are likely to take place in February or March 2023. A decision is due by the end of June. This decision comes as a blow to immigration activists who had sued to end Title 42. They argue that it is contrary to international obligations on asylum. Meanwhile, President Biden has said that the court won't decide the case until June. until June, apparently, and uh, in the meantime, we have to enforce it, but I think it's overdue. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.